Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's School where you find me repainting all of the <laughs> painting all of the uh, horrible patchy bits with grass. I have done most of it and I have found a thing. Look here. We can have one or four. So I hope not too many of you were screaming at me about that uh, <laughs> while I was painting in the previous episode, but I decided to do most of it off camera because there was a lot to do and it's kind of quite boring and it's seeing me do the exact same thing over and over again. So, I'm thinking now, oh, I also realigned the uh, the playground just to make that a little bit nicer. I'm thinking now that I would like to do, um, like, some fencing or, s or shrubbery or something, maybe around here. So maybe like some shrubbery or something. I'm not sure I like the the way the grass, like I wish I could have like a short grass, like a more manicured grass. However, it seems like the only thing is like something like this, which doesn't really look very natural at all. All that. None of those are very natural, are they? So I think I need to maybe stick with the grass, but there just doesn't seem to be anything that makes the grass stay back so uh never mind that's the best we can do it's the best we can do but what i would like to do is put some fencing around here just to make it look a little bit nicer so i'm really looking at aesthetics at this point roofing and things like that uh that one needs to go roofing all that sort of thing just to try and make things look a bit prettier i have no accuracy today, clearly. I'm not going to do too much on camera, though, because otherwise I won't have time to actually play the week. And that is an issue. See, I thought maybe about doing the shrubbery, but I think it's going to make that space too small. So I'm going to get rid of that. And a couple of little fences to just tidy up around here when there as well. There we are. And I'm just gonna, yeah, just gonna go with the wooden fences, I think. Generally, everyone's really happy, though. So, that makes me very happy. But there was one more thing I wanted to do, which is I noticed that there was, like, a kind of, uh... Like a little gazebo thing, and I think that might look quite cute in the middle here. I'm looking for something for this, like, courtyard space. Uh, but I need to find it. Is it under buildings? Pillars? No, that's not right. It must be a furniture item then. Oh yeah, here we are, traditional square pavilion. Don't you think that would look so cute, just outside the door? It's one, two, three, four, five squares across, unfortunately. So it's not quite even with the doors, which are a double door. But I'm going to go for it anyway. I think it looks cute. And I think it just does something to sort of even out that area. I feel like that statue's in a not great place either. Maybe we could have some statues over there or something. I'm not too sure. The other thing that I need to work on today I think is like windows. And maybe making the area outside the doors of the second... Um, building a little bit nicer. Those are what we're going to do while we're, you know, running the simulation. Before we run the simulation, though, I want to put in a staircase quickly and move some rooms upstairs because I want enough classrooms and I don't think I'll be able to fit them in here unless I move the cafeteria, which might be a thing I'll do. I might move the ca cafeteria and water room next to each other, possibly. That could be done, but I'll see. So we're going to do a little bit of rearranging. It might take me a minute, so bear with me. Um, I'm going to move all of the admin stuff upstairs. That's how. I'm, that's what I'm going to start with, I think. So I'm going to move SheLab's office. Uh, I will move them up, and then I'll work out exactly where I want everything. Infirmary can stay downstairs, but all of these guys can move up. I don't know whether I could do that en masse or not, but... Probably not. It's actually quite a lot of room upstairs here because we don't have... Obviously, the assembly hall takes a ton of room, doesn't it? 
an absolute ton of room. Just for those of you that don't know how I'm going up and down the stairs, uh, I'm using F and R to do that because once you've got the moved room on your cursor, you have to use keyboard shortcuts. Like I say, I will come back up and once I've got all of the rooms moved, I'll probably tweak it a little bit. So there's no point in being too precise about things right now. So I'm going to need like... Uh... I feel like I could put the training room upstairs as well. I don't know about the staff room because I kind of feel like maybe the staff room it would be better for that to be downstairs. But it could be upstairs. I think sometimes the windows are getting in the way and I'm going to need to mess around with those anyway. maybe if I move the toilet blocks into the corner or we could put them maybe over here let's have a look and see if I can move them next to the assembly hall maybe one on either side that would probably work is that the door yeah I can maybe expand them I might need to expand things like that because every time I take in a new influx of students I have to like rebuild all of the facilities to make them happy so okay well, that works well so far uh, staff room wouldn't fit there school shop or something might fit in there I'm not sure I'll leave those spaces for now or I could make the physics lab a bit bigger and wrap it around the corner. That might be a nice thing for it, actually. So that means I've got the water room here, which I want to move into the corner. And then I want to grab the canteen and see if that will fit alongside it. I have a sneaking suspicion it will. Which will then allow me... I might then move classroom 1-2 into, these, uh, into this corner here. And have another classroom there as well. Might even be able to get three classrooms in there, I'm not sure. But I feel like that classroom needs to be moved. It's like right in the middle, it's so annoying. Maybe then I could move the toilets somehow into the middle. And then I'd have room for an extra classroom over there as well. So yeah, a couple of things I could do if I move the canteen to the other building. So, let's move it. It's a big move, this one. Oh no! It's just slightly too wide! Of course it is. So what I think I'm gonna do... Obviously I need to move all these sinks. I'm gonna move them all forward by one. I'm gonna move them all over here, actually. For now, anyway. Move all the washing sinks, and I'm going to, I think the best thing to do here is just, just go with the size of it. Honestly. I need to do the other way around though. Go with the size of it. And increase the size of the water room. Move the infirmary across by one. Or two, or whatever I want to do. And then move all of these classrooms over by one. Then I'm going to have to decide eventually where I want to actually put the... Uh... What's the obstacle? Oh, all the sinks. Haha, <laughs> of course. Those sinks are going to be the death of me, I swear. Alright. Maybe we could have like, like a mini wash area over here. Probably not ideal to have all the sinks in the same places. It probably should just be like a 
in one place, but that's where they'll go for now, okay? What I may find I need is I'm going to need to fit a staircase in somewhere. So I'm kind of thinking staff room is going upstairs as well. There's so much room up here. It's amazing. But I don't ideally want to be putting classrooms up here. I want to be putting admin offices, headmaster's offices. I do want a door there though. That's so cute. I love it. Oh. Am I up too many floors? No, I'm not though. I feel like it's just a plain door might be better there. A granite main door. Oh, that's so cute. That's a lovely little door for there. I love that for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be playing around with the doors here. I think I want to put like a big entrance in here and then like pave it all but that is again cosmetic. Uh, at the moment I'm looking at moving rooms around and floors and things so uh, okay. Where is the staircase gonna go is the question now. It can't go there. It has to be more in the middle because the balcony is up there. Unless I put the stairs up to the balcony and that's how they get into the top. That's an idea, isn't it? So, building staircases. Ah, but the reinforced concrete and uh, stairs and things. which I would probably want. They're not very... So I could have them like there. I could have them here. I think I'm just gonna move the art classroom over. And like I said, I'm gonna move all of these one forward just so that they're like more in the middle. Uh, I'll need to move the hygiene cupboard. And we've got more of a You should be upstairs. That's the research room. That's if if anything should be up the stairs, it's that. All right then. Facility needs to be reachable. How come you allowed me to like move everything else, but all of these are going to be unreachable until the staircase goes in? So that's fine. It's just a simple thing I need to do. I just wish it wasn't. Why is everything always one off? Like, it's really annoying. <laughs> well, that's their way up. Which means they end up kind of up there. Do I like that? Do I think that would be better the other way around, maybe? I'm not sure. Would you prefer... I don't really know if I like that or not, but... If I put it round the other way down there, I'm not going to like that because it'll be like you've got to go round it to go up. I think, I think I'd prefer it to be slightly... Do you know what? I don't, I don't like it there at all. I want it like here or something. Why doesn't it go anywhere else? Ah. Apparently it can go there. No, I'm just... This is the design process, okay? <laughs> Have I covered the doors? Yeah. Move those. Mm. 
infirmary there. Sink there. Sinks everywhere. Could put them sideways on. That might be a bit nicer. Then I have a lot of room in the middle there. Which I could use for all sorts of things. Um, just moving that along one because I am going to plan to increase the size on the water room. But I'm not going to do it just yet because we're already 15 minutes and we haven't started on classes yet. So, we now have this massive area here that can be used for classrooms. So I'm gonna move class one, two into that area. Now that works quite nicely, doesn't it? And can it have a copy of itself maybe on the other side, which would fit absolutely perfectly? It could indeed. Class one five. Lovely. And you know what? Even with that, we could have like a sixth class. No, I think I'm going to stick with this for now, but I'm going to leave that area there and I'm going to leave it green to show that I can copy that over because what I'm thinking is I'll take five classes this time. Okay. And I'll try my best to fill them all up by day three I've got good teachers for it as well so um, we've got Ronald Wells is free and has really high skills in management so it could work on that I think most of the other classrooms will have a homeroom teacher already it's only new ones I build that tend to not next thing I need to do is the ever <laughs> the ever fun task of changing the desks over so that we've got 20 desks in each first year classroom this is the last time we'll have to do this because now the third year classrooms are all full of those upgraded desks so we only had to do it three times this is why I didn't do this when I got the classic desks because I knew I would get like eventually like a way better desk. Oh come on, I got rid of the floor that time. Are you kidding me? Ugh. And you know what I'm like, I can never find the floors. I always have to go car to find the floors. I think there was another floor that I pulled up over here recently, yeah. So while we're in there, we'll do that. Okay, so I'm going to need to remove the desks from that classroom as well. We've got, unfortunately, now five classrooms to do this for. I don't know why we still have cleaning supplies in here. We've got big old cleaning cupboards and things outside. There's no need for it, really. Okay, so... I will need to uh, edit the classroom there because otherwise I won't get the exclusives. I think we can put some stylish double desks in. Honestly, it just makes it easier to place because you've only got to place half the amount of stuff. Um... I'm thinking we'll go down the middle there. Oh, what was that? Is that the podium? Yeah. That's not meant to be there. That's meant to be there. Come on, turn around. How weird. It's not turning around. There we are. Right. Back to desks. Don't know how that happened. just about fit them in it's a squeeze to get 20 in um definitely feel like though this is going to be the the kind of end stage for things okay why won't that fit oh 
because we have to make sure we are on the correct facility. Yes, of course. Stylish podium for you. Oh, yeah, you can go right up to the front of it. I was just checking. I was like, oh, I hope that that's not like an issue. Okay, lovely. So I'm thinking that the only reason that they're problematic now is that they've got... So all of the ones down here are like that. Cool. Uh, so we've got this one here, this one here, and this one here. No, that one's that one's done. One, three, one, four, one, one. So three classrooms up here to do. Ugh. Edit classroom, stylish stuff in there. Stylish podium. And on these ones where they're not like, where they're like five wide, I never know where to put the stylish podium. But it works quite well putting the desks along the edges. Next classroom. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this, but like I say, it's only it's the last time we need to do it. We have a lot of classrooms. That's certainly not the way to do it. Uh, I don't have a clue why we've still got, like, fire safety stuff in there, like... That's that's from a time gone by before we had the safety cabinets. Right, so... Let's edit you and get the desks in, get the silage podium in, and la 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 la. See, this is a better room for it. I don't know why I decided to turn them around a way that they wouldn't fit. I wonder if it would still work if the desks were the wrong way around. <laughs> That'd be an interesting one, wouldn't it? Okay, so that one's done. I think this is now the last one. And it wouldn't be me redesigning a classroom if I didn't delete at least one ceiling fan. Podium. So I could just add new desks, but I just feel like this actually makes it so much nicer. So much nicer. There we are. In these classrooms, I could put them like three across. Either way, they're going to be touching one way or another. The classrooms aren't quite big enough for the desks, but I just ram them in and, in and hope for the best, really. Okay, so we've got all of them ready for 20 students now. Next job. Find the students. We are slowly getting more uh, admissions as we're working through it. As usual, Finch Blade plus Theatre Boulevard plus Champion Springs equals 21. <laughs> the champion, champion Springs would be better for worse for tuition, but I think it might have three star aspirations. So if you were looking for, I'm not, but if you are looking for aspirations, those are the sorts of students you want to bring in. If you're just looking for like a bit of money, just get all the theater boulevard kids. All right, so 12 of those, five Finch Bays, and then I'll take three from Champion Springs. Meal Packer, Weight Watcher, Sports Maniac, Learns Faster at Sports. Yeah, I might do those then. 
Okay. So, we'll do class 1-3. In fact, no, if I was clever, what I'd do is look at the existing courses and see which ones are good. Have lots of sport in them. Actually, 1-3 does have a lot of sport in it, so it might actually already be ideal for this particular class. If I have a look, class 1-3, it looks like, yeah, I don't even have to mess with the course. Perfect. Okay, class 1-2, looks like it's my wealthy suburbs slash Versewood guys. Um, they're downstairs, I think, 1-2. Yeah, they're here. So let's go and find them, wealthy suburbs. Versewood, so that's 12. I'm definitely going to need to get more tomorrow. 100%. So class 1-2 is going to be full of those guys. It's so much easier when the class is empty and you can just add them in. I, but I find it easier to go through there and then add them in the other way when it's already sort of a little bit full. So class 1-2, they look very happy in what they're learning. Don't need to change their course. Perfect. Class uh, one five won't have a course schedule yet, so I'm not even gonna worry about that at the moment. Class one four looks to be a literature science cross. So one one has no kids in it either, and that is also, it's a literature science health education cross somehow. I don't know exactly who was in that class before, but I can change that about a little bit if I need to. But class 1-4 looks like it'll be the Groundshire kids and all of those guys. So let's do those. Nine. Plus six is 15. 16, 17, 18. Okay. Class 1-4, uh, is it class 1, yeah it was class 1-4, just checking, just making sure, that's what 18 students in it, so we're up to 204 at the moment, and we don't have enough kids left now to, uh, to do anything else until more join, so that's fine. We've got a department under excessive stress, the headmaster's office, but I very much expect I can move a couple of things around. Uh, looks like I've got a really good manager over here. I could just take loads of stuff off her case. Okay, lovely. So we've got a problem here with an overloaded class, uh, which is class... Okay, Let's see if we can change the homeroom teacher. Instantly fixed. Lovely to just have idle people that are just doing nothing, isn't it? <laughs> that you've trained up in management to amazing levels. Okay. That is as much as we can do for now. So I just need to let the sim run while playing around with windows and things probably. I did say today would be a day about windows and roofs and things. Oh, and speeches, apparently. All right, Ms. Lynn, introduce me. You know you're important when someone introduces you to a speech. I don't think anyone's ever done that for me in my life. <laughs> Here is Shelab. No, <laughs> Shelab not that important. Okay. And I'm just gonna flick through this speech fast as I can. Just commending their results, talking about academics. Um, Self-reflection, I think we're gonna go for. We sometimes get a bit extra from that. Talk about life. Oh, loads of them are energized from that, wonderful. They are feeling calm, I'm gonna praise their amazingness.
get some serenity in there. They can be serene and energized at the same time. I don't know how that works, but yay. Loud cheer. Go on, loud cheer at the end. All right, 95. I've never managed 100 yet, but... Graduation photo. Uh, maybe I'll retake it. Shelab wasn't even in there. <laughs> That'll do. I rarely retake it, but I try to take it too fast. Okay. Be quick. I think everybody... Well, in the classes where I've actually got a class, everybody's due, like, full marks and doing, like, super amazingly, so... The only, the, the only thing I'm looking at are basketball courts. Um, so I'm going to move that and change it around with Intermediate Arts, which moves the basketball court. I don't need many. I've got one basketball court, but they always seem to want it on the same time. Projection room. I promise you the basketball court. Uh, move that. No, move that. There we are. Expert stamina training. We need the expert sports course. Wow. Gee, we're doing well on the third year stuff. But we need a projection room and a... We need to change that. That guy's still going. He's still going. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. Um, I might need to change uh, from... That to science sports expansion. We need that in three days' time, so hurry up, researchers. I guess I might expand the research room a little bit as well. But we first thing we need is the projection room. I don't even know where I'm gonna put it right now. I might have to go upstairs. I don't really want to put loads of stuff up here, but I don't see actually why we d why we can't. I mean, it's it's not the ideal, but this is a a room that won't be used as much. I'm getting nervous, so I'm going to pause it while I do it. Uh, lifestyle. No, where is it? Classroom, projection room, projection room, projection room. There we go. Could it fit in there, maybe? I guess the projector needs to be somewhere near the board. And we've got some... weird desks and stuff. Okay, well... I think I might need two of those. Um, that is all in the wrong place. So I feel like what we need to do is put the screen over here. Come on, do what I ask you. Thank you. She needs to go in behind the students, I think. Or like there or something. I don't know. That is back to front, if, if nothing else. Um, maybe that could go there, like next to the students. And then this could like come over a little bit. So it would at least kind of feel a bit, a bit more like it was... And then maybe, is that like a teacher's desk or something? I can't really tell like what it is or which way around it's meant to go. Did those go back a bit? Yes, but they need to turn. Ah! Do what I tell you. You know what? I'm being a doofus. Oh, 
Come on. I don't know what that is. Is it the projection podium? It houses the projector and all its controllers. Oh, okay. So I kind of feel like that should be maybe like there or something. So they just work on the projector stuff. Then they've got the cinema stuff there. And then maybe that along the back actually. That's perfect! Yes, I finally got it the way I want. Okay, cool. Projection room, go! <sighs> what else did we need? There was something else, I'm sure it was... Oh yeah, it was that course that we're, we are now investigating. Um, I am going to put some more desks into... Come on, play please. I'm going to put some more desks in here. And get some more researchers. That might be a little bit faster now, hopefully. Two days instead of like three. Wonderful. Right, are we on? All right, we're at the end of the day, so I'm hoping that now, oh, departments are under stress. Delinquent conduct deal. Stuff break room needs dealing with. Take me to it rather than show me the overlay. put it oh they're all unhappy because they've got no windows in their break room <laughs> well that would probably do it yeah definitely let's uh, get some buildings and windows we can have a nice big lighting window There we are. Doesn't that look nice? Oh, I'd better move that painting though. No, not the window, the painting. Because paintings don't go with windows. Okay, so are we still short? Yeah, we're still short by two on that. So I could do with putting in like another piece of art. another sofa might be asking a lot at the moment oh another coffee station might be nice it's small yeah perfect okay go who's under stress then let's move stuff down the line My super teacher that can handle everything in the world. Maybe not, but doing quite well anyway. So this, the research room. Who is in charge of the research room? I think, Virginia, you could probably be replaced with someone who has a bit more management capability. Except everyone's doing stuff right now, aren't they? Oh, bless. Um, let's just filter everyone by management. See if see what the highest researcher is. Forty. I'm gonna hire a new teacher to manage the. No, oh, they're sorting that already. 
Okay, I'm gonna hire a new teacher to just sort out the management room because we make enough money for this. Um, so I need a really good manager. Oh, I wish I could have you, Henry Garcia. 80 management. I want someone in that's like already really good at management. I'll take Stacy, the sports teacher. She's already 50, so that would definitely be quite helpful. She'll manage that a lot better. There we are. Perfect. All sorted. All problems are sorted. All right. Okay. Need more students, don't we? Because uh, they're at the end of homeroom on the second day. So we definitely need more students. Right. Uh, student admissions. Oh, I just I need to go in and just see how many I need of each first. So, uh, at the moment, I'm trying to fill um, the wealthy suburbs class. I know that much. Come on, let me go backwards. So these guys are wealthy suburbs, and I need another and and also verse word one two three, another eight eight from wealthy suburbs. And verse wood. Last one one has no one in it. Okay. So I'll take the five from the wealthy th suburbs. And I'll take another three from verse wood for now. So we're just going to fill up class one, two. So that fills that one. Lovely. Then we're going to look at class, I think one four, no, one three. Uh, one three are all hot. So I need a ceiling fan in a minute, but I'll get that sorted. Um, oh, that was not what I wanted to do. I just want to know who's in class 1-3. Class 1-3 are full. Okay, that's fine. But they need a ceiling fan. I will get that for them now. Enjoy your ceiling fan. <laughs> class 1-4 uh, has two free spaces and they look to be a literature science combo. And then class one five and one one are empty. I've got empty classes. So let's just sort out class one four with maybe a couple of ground shear students or something. So I'll pop those into one four. And then we've got class one five that has a completely empty spaces and class one one that's completely empty spaces. If I can fill those, we'll hit our 250 students. Then I just have to make sure that they are satisfied. So. I could have another sports class. Just based off these guys. So 15 there and we'll take 5 of you. Class 1-5 I think, wherever it is. Can be a 1-1 one, one could be a sports class. Okay, one five, let's auto schedule it. Oh, sorry, one one. So it's art and sport, science and sport, no literature needed. We maybe don't need as much uh, science either. I 
and more sport. I love having such well appointed teachers. It's amazing because you're just putting a couple of things with Aaron Adams who Aaron Adams who's 59 teaching and then like, yeah, great, a lovely or oh, Dan. So class one one is all sorted. And now we just want class one five. So what are we gonna do for that? Let's see who how many of everything we've got. So we've got six verse wood, seven finch bay. One Champion Springs, eight Verdant Valleys. Ooh. Could do a Verdant Valley versus Wood combo. Ah, with some ground shire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Verdant Valley, eight of those. Nine ground shire. In fact, if I did the Archimedes Bird guys as well, that would be a more even spread. So, Verdant Valley. So eight of those, three of those, and nine of those. That should take me to 20, hopefully. So I have miscounted before. The class one five. And they're going to need a course uh, schedule done. I will auto schedule it and that is Easily done. Lovely. Beautiful. Happy with that. Class 2 1 has a problem. I need to know what. Their room temperature is too hot. So they've probably had their ceiling fan deleted as well. We're in the summer now and I've been just continually deleting ceiling fans. It's not ideal. You, you guys have that. But enjoy. Okay, so it doesn't look like we've got any problems other than... The bike shed and some slight management structure things. You're overloaded. Okay, let's see if there's anyone with a higher management than you. Not really. Could you do some training? Not really. Okay. Oh, it's only oversubscribed by one. I'm still going to try and just order a new teacher because... I w there will be ones with management, like, huge management. Management 39, 33, 40. She says. Don't really care about anything but the management side. You'll do. <laughs> Martha Baker, you are our new teacher. Thing is, I'm making so much money at the moment, I've not really had to sack any of the lower teachers, but that might be something I'll have to do at some point. She's perfectly capable of that. Lovely. Cool, have a pay raise. Uh, we need some ceiling fans as well. Ceiling fan, ceiling fan, ceiling fan, and then, then we, we have full classes, which is amazing. And then it's go time. When you've got five classes to arrange, it does make it a little bit worse. Those guys have been training their butts off. It's not really surprising they're wanting a slight raise in their pay. Right, so not enough washing. I feel like I need to make like an entire washing room or something. How much are we under on washing? 20. Would that be one high-end sink? Yeah. Have a high-end sink upstairs. Enjoy your high-end sink upstairs. Got delinquent conduct going on, but it's being dealt with. That's fine. Bike racks need to be bigger yet again. The bike racks apparently need some bins or something. He is basically holding the school together at the moment.
I'm just moving these closer together to each other so I can fit another row in. And then I'm going to put a bin over here. Eat not enough drinking water again as well and not enough food. Okay, I can only do one thing at a time. We are on 250 students though. We just need to keep their satisfaction very high. It's dropping though. I'm actually going to pause it because of that. I don't really want the satisfaction to drop. We could win this in the next 10 minutes if we keep their... Well, actually no, we need to do one more because we need to keep their satisfaction high for a week as well. Um, while being at 250, so we might need a little bit of the next week. So I'll play one more episode, I think, uh, in order to do that. We may as well just make this spike rack as big as we can. I don't even know how they get over there, but they seem to be managing it, so I'm not going to uh, question it. <laughs> Shrink facility for zone? What? No, we, we don't need to do that. Okay, so not enough entertainment. We need 16 more entertainment, which I think we could fit in here if we move some trees about. It's always nice to have a little tree in a playground. Makes it look quite cute, but uh, not if I can't fit all the stuff in I need. And this is the only playground with room, so let's stick another cat thing in. Um... We are exactly the amount of playgrounds we need now. <laughs> Woof. Food. Okay, food we are. Like 40 seats short. We need a, a seat for every kid, basically. So what I'm going to do is move the infirmary upstairs. Or just that one hospital bed. No. No. I'm going to move the infirmary, the entire infirmary, if I can click on it somewhere, upstairs. There will do. I might need to sort out some uh, some bins and things up here as well, some hygiene stuff. Uh, it's fine for now. I'll probably move all of these into better positions and that sort of thing. Does look a bit scruffy, doesn't it? Oh, I want to mess around with all the windows, though. Uh, ones with windows on each side don't really go together very well. So we'll move that over a little bit. I may win this with never actually having properly sorted the doors and windows out, but we've got this nice area up here, and if I need extra classrooms, I've got room to build them, and it's nice and lovely, and it has a balcony and a cute door, and I'm very happy with it. Overall. <laughs> I actually feel like it's one of the nicer buildings somehow. I really want to put a roof on. But we're already 53 minutes in, and we're not even halfway through the week. <laughs> so I need to get on with it. Okay. I'm gonna go make the water room bigger and put more water in it. Move the door. Make it bigger. Make it even bigger. Let's see if I can put more. I might need another tea room, but we'll see. Um, let's see if I can put in another one of these guys. Oh, it's another day, another dollar. Unable to place more drinking water in tea room. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is move that over there. I'm going to shrink it back down. 
And I'm going to put another tea room somewhere else. Maybe even right next to this tea room. It's gotten too big for its boots, basically. So I've now got enough students. It's just a case of getting the facilities up to scratch enough for them to be happy. Uh, which we should be able to do, definitely. But they've got another, like, mini tea room there. Oh, man. It gave me a door and I just got rid of it. There we are. Large water cooler, cup rack, hot water station. And that gives me just enough water for the 254 students that I have. Wonderful. Now I feel like I don't actually now need to change the amount of classrooms I've got. Um, so when the year three, the year threes turn into year ones again, I'm going to only need to keep their four classrooms to keep the level at 254 because I've got so many second years running through. So I think at this point, I don't need to make any more classrooms. I'm just going to have one year that's always got five classes and one and two other years that have always got four. And that will be perfect. So I've just got to make sure that they are happy and we win. guess. Never hurts to train him, does it? Uh, oh, we need some... Hang on, hang on. Clearly moved a ceiling fan in there as well. Right, so the canteen, I want to see if I can expand it more. Hopefully I should be able to. I could make it even chunkier. I could make it quite chunky, couldn't I? I could actually expand it out into the... Cause the stairwell is sitting there, but the canteen is sitting there. So I could make it quite large. But um, I will firstly... Just expand it out this way. I don't know whether it's going to start complaining at me and telling me that I need... Put that by the cut black thing. Just going to delete those little two-person ones. Sorry! Ah, they fell over. That's kind of hilarious, but also not great. Uh, there's a couple of students thinking of dropping out, which I always hate. So we're still 20 food short. Hmm. I might make this an L-shaped canteen and have some more chairs and stuff in there. Or have another canteen next to it, maybe even. Yeah, I'm going to build another canteen. Uh... I would much rather have an extra canteen. Oh, come on. Lifestyle. Canteen. Cafeteria. There we are. I'm just going to do that and have like a little extra one. And we had the Chinese, I think. But we didn't have the Western kitchen. Yeah, so how about we have like a western kitchen in here? I think that's where they serve it out. I'm trying to make sure it's the right the right way around. Cafeteria window. Oh, right, I have to have a normal cafeteria. Okay. It might be better with them this way around, actually. Don't really know. Hmm. 
Maybe like that. And then get rid of that one. Or maybe that one could stay. No, I think that one has to go. Unless I make it bigger. So we need a normal canteen window as well. And then we can sell sushi, cheeseburgers, braised pork and beef. Alright, had to be done. Hopefully the two very dissatisfied students will start to be more satisfied now all of that has been dealt with. Oh goodness me, what a week again. The bigger this gets, the more managing you've got to do. Perfect, we've done it. Okay, I'm going to do art expansion. Hopefully we did it in time for that third year class that needed it. Advanced dexterity and things like that. Expert stamina training. Yeah, we were just in time. I think it changes about sometimes what they need. It's a bit weird. However, they're all doing well. That is the main thing, right? They're all going to pass with full marks and, and be really happy and... Lots of them have... I don't know what the, the blue on top of the blue is. It just means that they're amazing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, um... I'm really, really happy with this so far. We don't have the very high satisfaction, but I have now put enough stuff in place for that to work. It looks like the cafeteria is closed because we don't have anybody to run it. Virginia, you used to be the science person. You're now the lunch lady. Oh, no, you're unqualified. Oh, no. Uh, well, the infirmary nurse is qualified. So then I can maybe put someone else in the infirmary. There's no lighting and the temperature is terrible. Okay. All easy to sort out. Got a light in for a start. Put a ceiling fan in. Lovely. I've got some excessive management structure things going on now. But I think that can be fairly easily sorted. Right, I think we're good. I think we're good. She lab stress is coming down now. Perfect. It's so hot. Nobody dropped out. I don't know how long the satisfaction being high for a week is going on for. I don't think we're going to need... I might actually put a carpet down there because I don't think we're going to need to put that classroom in now. Had a thing hanging in the middle of, of the air. We don't need that really, do we? So I think as long as all my classes are full... I don't know how I've got 254. There's got to be some classes that don't have a full complement. Because I've got 4 plus 4 times 20. Plus 5 times 20, so 100. In year 1. 180 for year 2. And then another 80 for year 3, so that would be... That should be 260. If all the classes are full. But I think some of the year 3s, there was a point where I couldn't quite... Is everyone getting a bit less hot now? That's good. I feel like next episode we're gonna, we're gonna cinch this.
I still haven't done the windows though. I am not going to do that. I might do them next episode. Uh, what I am going to do quickly now while they're while I'm just waiting for them. Sure, just carry on whatever you want to do. I, I've checked out a little bit now. <laughs> what I am going to do is this. Let's put a little bit of paving outside here. Other schools are investing in the community. Oh, you know what I haven't done? And I'm kind of annoyed with myself that I didn't do that this week, is I didn't do anything on the map. Uh, guessing that will do. I'm so busy getting everything sorted. I want to know who the other schools are. Oh, I don't know if there's any point in starting one now. I don't know if I'll get there in time. We definitely, I definitely do need to do one more. I'll send three loads of people out. They need a dormitory hall. Wow. <laughs> Woodrow doesn't like me taking all the students. I really don't care. I don't know what they really do for me anyway. Frogs have been confiscated. We're on the last day now. So yeah, I feel like I've done really well to get from 200 up to 250 basically. Or 210 or whatever it is. So I've added like an extra 40 students in and then managed to get to keep them on a level happiness wise. Next time I'll try and see if I can get the last um, the last few students in. Because that would be really nice to see. Um, let's just not worry about Terry's training anymore. I'm melting. When can we get air conditioning? I think I should probably put some fans in the hallway. I'd love to get you air conditioning, but I can't be bothered putting in like HVAC systems and things. But we'll have some ceiling fans in the hallway and maybe that will help. And in there. And I think overall... We are doing very well. I said we'd be at a million by the end, didn't I? And we're about to hit it now. One final sprint to the exams. I think you're all going to do very well, though. Still haven't built a guidance office. That was something I really wanted to do and haven't done. But they're doing quite well with their delinquent conduct stuff. Let's have a look. Look at all the stuff we confiscated. Oh, no. The kids are going to be in trouble. We just hit a million. That's crazy. I can build anything I want. Have a whole, a whole sports thing going on. We've got like all the stuff. It's amazing. Okay, the delinquent activities. I think it's nearly time for the exam, though. Nearly time. I'm so much happier with how this all looks. So, oh, what's wrong with this room? Lighting and temperature. Okay. I'm being terrible at the moment. I'm, put it, I'm putting in electric lights instead of windows at this point. I'm just like, I'm just so done. Uh... <laughs> okay, so how are we doing with research? We're so close to getting all the research done as well. Boarding school. That's what those guys wanted, right? 60 minutes left to exams. Don't panic. Of course they're going to panic. I don't know whether I got that ceiling fan in or not, but never mind. Um, it's going to be autumn soon anyway. I'll, fi I'll have finished this by the time I need more ceiling fans. I'm pretty sure. Anyway. So, let's, have, let's see what happens in the exams. Let's see. I think... We won. We are the top grades in the, the region now. Our school is amazing. 
Our results are amazing. Everything is amazing. Champion Springs likes me a lot more now. Everywhere likes me quite a bit, so I could carry on until I've got like top ratings with all of the areas, until I've got all of the areas unlocked. I will probably just keep going until I win though, I think. Because you can, you can sort of flog a dead horse a bit, can't you? <laughs> right, so Headmaster, are the results are looking good this time. Our students are super smart, nice job. And we're going into the autumn. We've got a load of contribution points that we got. So I'm hoping that that will mean that we can get up to grade eight. Yes! Grade eight. So we're a top city school now. And we have gotten a ton of the way towards grade nine. So I would love, love, love to be a state school by the time we finish the episode, by the time we finish. But I think... I think we'll have won the scenario by then. Whether I go for like all of the victories, I don't know. Got a big old bonus there. 1.3 million in the bank. So I'm on stage five here. I need to just fill um, the classrooms up to get my 260 students in. So I need to put another 80 in to year one. And that should easily get that there. And we've got enough facilities in the school now for those guys to be happy all week. Now, the only thing that I'm a bit worried about with it is um, whether I've got the very... Well, it looks like it's already going through the high satisfaction. It looks like it's already got a bit done. So I think it only has to be ensure the very high satisfaction and then make sure you've got 250 students. So I think it's going to be nice to me about that. So I think I should be able to win it next time. Um, I need to build a basic wonder and an advanced wonder, apparently. And then I can get building victories. And 12,000 total building score. Uh, I haven't done very well with the four-star and five-star aspiration students. And I imagine that they will come from the map. So that would be the teaching victory. However, I feel like with this particular one... Um, I'm just going to go for the population victory. You guys can pretty much extrapolate where it would go for another for another episode after that, I would imagine. So, yeah, I think one more episode and we are going to wrap this one up. I've had a lot of fun. It's been really, really cool. I feel like uh, at times the school was a bit shabby, but I'm liking the look of it now. Uh, before next episode... I think I may design a little roof off camera and just show you what I've done. Just because everything is taking so long at the moment to arrange arrange things. Maybe not though, because I'm not gonna have to like rearrange the entire school next time. So we'll see. Anyway, I have rambled on long enough. Doing really well though, so um this is this is what happens when the school gets really well developed. This is the sort of thing that you end up with and it's not even got every single room or anything like that in it. And it's not even as high tech as it could be. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.